Hello, my name is Dan Swain, and today we're going to be talking about the fourth of the solid principles, the interface segregation principle, in about five minutes, hopefully. Right, so ISP, interface segregation principle, states uh, no client should be forced to depend on methods it doesn't use. So imagine we've got a basket, a shopping basket, and imagine that it's quite large and it has uh, like add item, uh, remove item, uh, and calculates total value of the basket perhaps. There we go. And uh, perhaps a, like a checkout method. So this, this object is doing an awful lot of things probably far too many. Oh, and let's say it's got an empty basket as well. There you go. Now, to do to be abstract, we could say we've got our basket and we're going to we're going to make it implement a I am a basket interface. And that interface will basically mirror the object and have essentially every method on on that interface. So, it's got the calculate total and it's also got the uh, checkout. So there you go. So by doing this, we get Liskov substitution principle. You know, we can swap different baskets in and out, and they can all do the same thing because you know everyone will obviously have to implement all these things. But what happens if we want to do discounts? What happens if I want an I do discounts thing? We 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 find we violate the open close principle. So you know. That's, that can be a problem. So every every basket that implemented that interface therefore has to be changed. So imagine we've got different interactors that, you, that sort of rely on different bits of the functionality. So we've got a, a CRUD inter, uh, interactor, a checkout interactor, and a calculate total interactor. And they all only use a few methods, but they, they all depend on the whole I am a basket interface. So this is a violation of the interface segregation principle. Because the basket does too much and our interface does too much, um, we've got our interactors are depending on more methods than they actually need. So what can we do to fix this? We could say, you know, what are the roles that this basket um, performs? So we know it performs some CRUD operations to create, read, and update, and delete. And we know that it also um, calculates uh, the total, and we also know that it checks out. So we could say that that's a role, and that's also a role, and there's calculates total. So there, there's three different roles that the same object sort of implements. So what we could do is if we said, what about if instead of implementing I am a basket, we implement a, a repository interface, and we implement an additional can be checked out interface, and a, a calculates total in, interface. Now at this point. If we wanted to do discounts, we can just add on a calculates discount interface. And that would mean that everything that implements all those different interfaces wouldn't have to change, only the one that we want to give that to as well. Now imagine we've got our checkout interactor, and that might want to sort of interact with two different things. It might want to be interact with something that can be checked out and something that you know calculates the total. Now because our single class implements both those interfaces, we can just create a basket and we can pass the same thing in twice, but it's being used in different ways. It's sort of utilizing different roles. And there's nothing really wrong with that. You know, ideally, single responsibility would say that different objects for different things. But as long as it doesn't cross the sort of the boundary between our sort of app domain and our just our main method or web application or whatever, we should be all right. So, you know, and we can use the interface, uh, sorry, inversion of control, so it just moves up different things automatically. So in conclusion, you know, interface segregation principle is all about roles and, um, you know, making your classes sort of small enough and making them implement specific methods um, so that, you know, interactors don't actually have to use things that they, or, you know, rely on things that they don't, don't actually use. Uh, that's it. Thanks a lot. There you go. Yay.